Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, uh, Virgo, I do want to give you guys a quick update. We will be providing um, on my Instagram, for those of you guys that don't follow, I highly encourage you guys to go on there. December the 22nd, we're going to be providing one question free readings for everyone that is interested. We're going to be going live at 7 p.m. California time. We're also going to be doing the um, we're going to be doing the free giveaways for December. For those of you guys interested, take, uh, stay tuned for my next spell video as I will be mentioning how you can uh, participate. We're going to be giving different types of gifts, as you guys can see here, money amulets um, for purification. Uh, we're also going to be giving away uh, soaps from our soap line, etc. So we have a lot of gifts to, you know, uh, put out there for you guys. So if you guys are definitely interested, stay tuned. Now, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019. Now, in regards to your finances, you have the death card here. A death card could symbolize a new beginning, a new transformation that's currently happening with you guys. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that there was a recent ending, uh, some type of ending or conclusion uh, in the work field. For others, it could just represent a uh, major transformation that's happening. If you've been experiencing a lot of obstacles or difficulties in your finances, uh, definitely expect that to quickly change or turn around. Now, in regards to communication, you have the Nine of Pentacles here. So the Nine of Pentacles is definitely very abundant type of energy, but it also signifies being very close or um, in close proximity with friends, with loved ones, family members. It could be because of the celebrations. Uh, for others of you, it could just symbolize uh, communicating with someone. Um, could be an earth sign like yourself. It could also be a Scorpio, as we do have the death card here. Uh, and again, like I said, the Nine of Pentacles definitely does. I feel that for a lot of Virgos, your finances are going to be in the up and up very soon. Uh, like I said, if you've been experiencing difficulties, I do see that quickly changing as you have the death card right next to the Nine of Pentacles. This can also represent um, striking luck in regards to your finances. Uh, some prosperous opportunity coming your way or knocking at your door. And this is going to be uh, pretty much a pivotal moment for your finances, Virgo. Now, in regards to your challenge here, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands could signify a fire energy, Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, not Libra, sorry, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And what they're saying here as a challenge, I feel that for some of you, you may be experiencing uh, difficulties communi with communication uh, with the fire energy. For those of you guys that your partner is a fire energy or they have a lot of fire in their chart, it could be a bit, a, a bit of um, a bit of turbulence in in the coming weeks for you, because uh, we do have the death card and I do see quick and hasty um, change with the death card and the nine of pentacles. Uh, so it could signify becoming single, and it's almost like it was very unexpected or you weren't expecting this. Um, and it could be in connection or a relationship with a fire energy. Uh, for some of you guys, if you have been emotionally invested in someone that perhaps was taken um, or that they were actually in a actual relationship, there may be a major change here where they become available to you all of a sudden. And it's almost like, oh, now they're wanting to get attention or now they're trying to seek your attention. Um, and it's almost like I see you guys, I see you guys like um, being a little bit hurt or being a little bit upset at the fact that oh, all of a sudden they're trying to come around. Um, but I feel that for for them, if you are dealing with a person like this that was taken or perhaps you were emotionally invested in them, um, I definitely see that there was like an inclination for this ending. Uh, perhaps this ending was you know postponed. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have come, uh, the separation was very unexpected. But again, like I said, it's almost like a very abrupt situation. Um, and I think that, again, for some, if you are dealing or have been dealing with a person that was perhaps unavailable to you, I definitely do see them wanting to 
come around wanting to spend more time or wanting to uh, pursue the connection with you, but I see you like resisting or almost like being somewhat upset, like all of a sudden you want to give me attention. Um, <clears throat> but I do see you guys still interested in this person. So my suggestion for you is if you are currently going through this situation, I would definitely um, give them the opportunity. I feel that this was long in coming for for that person in particular. I think that that relationship was probably non-existent at that point um, or at this point, and that's the reason why they decided to just cut, cut the cords. Um, but I also do see them wanting to um, communicate with you, but I do see it as a challenge. So for some of you, you may be dealing with a person that perhaps you're emotionally invested in, but something around that situation is difficult. And I feel that for some, it could be that you were dealing with the person that was dealing with someone else or they were in an actual relationship, but that's quickly going to be changing. Now, the Queen of Wands could also represent as a challenge. It could also represent um, having a bit of, I feel that it's coming up in the reverse. So for some, it could be that you're, you've been experiencing like a lack of confidence or not trusting yourself. Um, and what Spirit is telling you is that now is the time to shine, Virgo. Now is the time to really put your focus and energy towards goals that you're trying to achieve. You're definitely going to, whatever you start now, you're definitely going to be um, accomplishing or you're definitely going to be obtaining. So whether it's for some of you guys, it could be starting a new job. For others, it could be just leaving the job that is not making you happy. For others, it could be changing even like the way you eat, uh, exercising, anything that has to do with like what people quote unquote would say like a New Year's resolution and stuff like that. Um, I definitely do see you guys being very prone for that. But whatever it is that you start now, you will definitely be accomplishing that. So now is the time to really focus on what you're wanting to make happen, Virgo. Now, in, your, in regards to your emotions and the element of water, you do have the three of pentacles here. So I feel that, yeah, for a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that is involved. For others, you may be dealing with a person that perhaps you found out was stepping out of the relationship and you're still like having feelings or wanting to give them an opportunity. But that relationship is quickly, it's almost like spirit is bringing to you um opportunities or situations that give you the opportunity to walk away from that my suggestion is don't refuse that virgo whatever changes are coming your way right now accept them accept them because it's taking you to the next level you're leveling up virgo um and in order to do that sometimes we we outgrow people sometimes we just gotta cut the loose ends and continue our path uh not in a not in a bad way, but in the sense of like, unfortunately, sometimes people drag us down. And I feel that 2020 is going to be very, it's going to impact you very strongly, Virgo. So again, whatever changes are happening right now, definitely take, <clears throat> sorry, definitely take, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> definitely take um, those changes and embrace them. Okay. Now I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology Oracle cards, and these are, this is going to be Spirit's message directly to you, Virgo. So let's see what Spirit is trying to tell you. Let's see what Spirit's um, final message for you is. Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see. All right, Virgo. Okay, so what they're saying is nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Okay, so again, um, like I mentioned to you guys, if you are or have been dealing with a person that is either in a third-party situation or uh, you found out that perhaps they were dealing with someone else, uh, what they're telling you is, again, if there is a change or if there is an ending, Stop resisting that, Virgo. It is very important for you and for your growth to let go of that and to continue moving forward as blessings are coming towards you. And the only way to actually experience those changes or that progress is letting go and cutting the cords of loose ends 
or people that are no longer good in your life or people that have done you wrong that don't deserve you, okay? So I hope you guys take those messages for what they are and we'll see each other soon. Bye.